Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Geography with me, Stephen Doyle, explaining as simply as possible the world around us. This week in 5 Minute Geography, we look at mass movement from soil creep to mud flows, right through to the devastating avalanches, rock slides, and landslides. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video to discover how 85% of a town was totally wiped out by a mud flow. Mass movement, also known as mass wasting, is the process where material moves down slope under the influence of gravity. Mass movement is aided by weathering, which is the breakdown of material with the help of the elements. There are many factors that influence mass movement. Although gravity controls mass movement, a number of other factors influence the type of mass movement that we get. For example, the slope or the gradient is a major influence on mass movement. The steeper the slope, the less stable it is, and therefore the steeper the slope, the faster the movement. Water content is also another factor. When there's an area with small amount of water content, it tends to have slow mass movement. When you have large amounts of water, it acts like a lubricant and adds weight to the soil. After a heavy rainfall, mass movement is most likely to happen. When there's a lack of vegetation cover, because roots make slopes more stable by binding the soil together, and vegetation also absorbs rainfall. But you could also have tectonic activity, and mass movement can be triggered by volcanoes and earthquakes triggering liquefaction and lahar eruptions. There are many types of mass movements, from slow to fast. You have soil creep, landslide, avalanches, mud flows, and bog bursts or bog slides. Soil creep is the slowest type of mass movement tends to move about a few millimetres each year. Soil particles move downhill and they tend to only be visible after so many years by leaning fences or walls and poles are tilted. Vegetation cover acts against gravity to resist the downhill movement. Solifluxion is when soil absorbs water and expands and then when it dries it contracts causing this movement to happen. Step-like features are formed and these features are called terracets. Landslides are sudden, rapid downhill movements of masses of rock and regolith under the influence of gravity. Landslides can move up to 300 km an hour. Water acting as a lubricant makes it easier for the rocks and regolith to move downhill. Landslides tend to occur along bedding planes of weak layers of rock, undercutting due to coastal erosion or human activity like building roads. And landslides tend to happen after earthquakes. Rock slides are fast, dry movements of solid rock in the same direction. This happened in Lagarone in Italy in 1963, when a dam was built in the valley and underground water was unable to escape. The valley had steep sided slopes. The valley became saturated and the slopes became unstable. Rock slides can reach up to 100 km an hour. 200 million tons of shale slid down the slope into the valley, killing 2,600 people. Mud flow happens on slopes and occurs after very heavy rain. The surface begins to move when the water cannot soak through or when the soil becomes saturated. It's one of the fastest moving forms of mass movement, reaching upwards of 100 kilometers an hour. It can be caused by volcanic eruptions, for example in Nevada del Ruiz in Colombia. The 5 Minute Geography Fact of the Week On the 13th of November 1985, a volcano that has been dormant for 140 years erupted in Colombia. It caused a lahar eruption. Lahar eruption is when volcanic material melts water and mixes with ash and soil and rock fragments to create this dangerous hot mud flow known as a lahar. The lahar reached a speed of 50 kilometers an hour and it only took two and a half minutes 
to reach the town of Amero, killing 23,000 people. 85% of the town of Amero was washed away, making it the worst volcanic and mass movement disaster in history. As always, I've been Stephen Doyle with 5 Minute Geography. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, please click the like and subscribe to the channel. And you can always get in on the behind the scene action at our Facebook and Instagram page.